What's up my fabulous love bug goodies? Welcome to your girl channel and to our kitchen. This is another requested recipe. You ask, I'm going to deliver. You wanted me to show you how restaurants make Jamaican style brown stew chicken in the kitchen, right? I'm going to show you all. Now, if you are new and you're here watching me cooking for your very first time, make sure that you have subscribed. If you have not already subscribed, feel free to do so. Turn on that post notification settings goodies so you'll always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video. Now, let's jump right into the recipe you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from you don't remember where you're coming from rest of our eye why you turn your back on your brother when he made you you don't remember the days i'm when him feed you you know when no obligation but you win some respect all you need to do is just give him why you get turn your back on your brother when well, the secret is out, boo. How restaurants make Jamaican style brown stew chicken when they are making bulks. So, I mean, pounds and pounds of brown stew chicken. This is how they do it. Now, make sure you wash the chicken, of course, nice and clean. Really clean salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. You always wash the chicken. When I wash them chicken in the, in the film kitchen, but in my kitchen, we are gonna wash that. Now, they prep their vegetables first, which is always onions and tomatoes and scallion and thyme, bell pepper and garlic. Always use fresh garlic. Always had fresh garlic. As far as I know, fresh garlic is always added to it and your vegetables are prepped waiting now add salt and then after them add salt them add the black pepper to it right you add black pepper of course then onion powder to the mix and garlic powder to the mix as well okay so we're gonna add all of them thing there to it now you are making brown stew chicken in bulk so you need to flavor it up so you're gonna add um all-purpose seasoning jamaican all-purpose seasoning and i'm also using jamaican chicken seasoning then paprika make sure you add your paprika forget the color we need some fresh garlic of course and ginger whether you're going to use ginger powder or fresh ginger go ahead and use that and make sure you add pimento seed jamaicans no coconut pimento seed now apple cider vinegar i'm choosing to use but them use any kind white vinegar anything but i always add vinegar to my mix then browning browning is important because that is what is going to give it the color here you add your browning and then you add in all your vegetables right there right now if i was cooking authentic i wouldn't have done it this way i'm going to insert a link down below for showing sure off make authentic jamaican brown stew chicken not this stew chicken restaurant style thing authentic way this is not the authentic way y'all this is how jamaicans are the restaurants let's say island restaurants caribbean restaurants when they are making their chicken in bulk this is the way that they do it because they can't do it the really authentic way that is done in jamaica so this is the way that it is done for restaurants i am very sure because you, your girl been there okay she know what she's talking about it wasn't brown enough so you want to make sure that it is brown enough now you could also do the browning you know brown the sugar and make it but i'm telling you they use the browning the butter browning because remember everything is fast 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 there so everything have to move fast now first thing first you add your oil to the pot after them add the oil to the pot they go ahead and throw all of that stuff you do not separate anything everything is thrown into the pot all at once remember you are cooking a bulk in uh, your kitchen restaurant kitchen now what mega the right you saw is go ahead and cover it up but before i do that i got add about a cup of water with the marinade that left over in that thing you just go ahead and just throw it into the pot there and cover it up for about uh 25 minutes 25 minutes later that is what it looks like the color is nice and it's simmering good now i'm adding um cornstarch they usually use flour if you see flour use you'll know the difference between the flour and the cornstarch 
cornstarch is preferred for when you're trying to thicken up the gravy because remember you're making bulk and they always add sugar 90% of the time when you go to a Caribbean restaurant to buy a brown stew chicken they do add sugar to it okay now tomato paste or tomato ketchup is always added to it it give it the extra little kick to balance out the sugar that they had put into that brown stew chicken now when you make an authentic brown stew chicken you do not do not add sugar to it but they do in the restaurants okay so now i added my sugar and then I added the paste so this is what's going to thicken up that gravy because remember they are making bugs of this brown stew chicken not just feeding two people and feeding a whole army okay so then go ahead and add the cornstarch or flour but cornstarch y'all is better to use and you will see why at the end of the recipe you see the gravy start to change already yes that is perfect perfect the, when you use the white flour it makes the gravy have a white look and it also shows off the flavor of the brown stew chicken when you use cornstarch it gives it that perfect color and it not have no flavor whatsoever it you just have the flavor of the seasons that you use to marinate the chicken and to simmer down the thing now this is where they add that ketchup right there to make the ketchup and everything simmer out and balance out with that sugar you put it all in there and you cover it up remember it was cooking already for 25 minutes now you're going to turn the fire down to medium heat and it's going to cook for another 20 minutes so it should take about a total of 45 minutes total to cook this thing out it doesn't matter how much you're cooking but everything is going to take about 45 minutes to cook total 45 minutes to 50 minutes to cook total but that's all it's gonna take cover it up all right now guys i hope you are already subscribed if you're not subscribed go ahead and do so and turn on those post notification right always some good recipes going on up here check those out good at them always good this one is coming soon the sweet and sour chicken recipe that you want me to do over they're gonna do it now go ahead and check out your girl channel life as juliana subscribe over there and all my videos vegan goodies your recipe will be over there no more vegan recipe are here on this channel check out the vegan recipe that i put up brown stew chicken is coming over there and yes oh, yes it's, it's it's gonna be good over there all right now this right here how jamaican mix or how restaurants make this jamaican style brown stew chicken is done you see how it looks right there that is when i tell you goody that that flour right there won't work you have to go to cornstarch cornstarch makes that gravy perfect it doesn't change the color it just make it up a even richer look really rich and creamy and juicy and that is how it is done in the restaurants i'm telling you your girl have in there work there cook events everything and this is the way that is done when you are feeding a whole bunch of people this again i'm telling you guys this is not the authentic one so now come for me down below all right now you can eat this and serve it up with rice and peas but right here i'm just doing dumplings and carrots and yam and all of that just to show you guys what it looks like when you put it on the plate but yeah i look on the gravy the gravy is immaculate right that is when they use the cornstarch look at that goodie that is perfect perfect and you could never tell it is not authentic when you say brown stew chicken are you know authentic brown stew chicken it is two separate separate things now if you were cooking authentic brown stew chicken you would have fried the chicken first to give it that color like if you was doing oxtail and then you would put in the vegetables and all of that stuff but yes this is still 
good this is still good this is how they do it in the restaurants y'all now i hope you have enjoyed this recipe and i hope you learned something here right so make sure that you have subscribed here give your girl some love show your girl all the love thumbs up the recipe share it with friends and family all right let me know when you want to see me a cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation. Full coverage, if you don't like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.